hi Salem stars you're welcome back to my channel so i got a request a couple of weeks back from ijoma she asked me to make a tutorial on this lovely tiered dress right here it's also called a gypsy dress okay so in this video i'm going to teach you guys how to make this lovely tiered gypsy dress now this dress comes in different layers okay now you can decide how many layers you want you can put 17 layers 10 layers two layers and so on and so forth it all depends on how many layers you want to do but with the more layers you add it gets tricky so i'm going to teach you guys a very simple formula on how to um determine the width and the length of each layer okay now this dress you can either gather each layer or you can pleat it for me in this video i'm going to be pleating mine but i'm also going to show you guys how to gather it as well and i'm also going to take you guys along the entire process of drafting cutting and sewing this lovely dress so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Starting off with cutting the top part of this dress, okay? So first of all, I'm going to mark a line here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark my half length measurements. So I just placed my half length measurements at that line so I can mark my baseline at the top. So my half length measurement is 15 inches okay, so i'm just going to go ahead and just mark the zero inch mark which is going to serve as my baseline and now i'm also going to go ahead and mark the eight inch mark okay which is my armhole line so if you notice this top actually has the sleeves attached separately okay we're going to cut the top first and then later we're going to attach the sleeve so i'm going to mark five inches because that's how i'm um, low my top is going to be so five inches and then this is my armhole line so my top is going to start from five inches then later on we're going to cut a band and then we're going to use it for the sleeves okay so we're going to extend those lines now so now i'm going to go ahead and mark my bust circumference and my under bust circumference so my round under bust so my bust circumference is 35 inches i'm going to divide that by four place that on this top part here and then i'm going to mark that now this my fabric is a bit stretchy so i'm not going to be adding any allowance because i want it to be really fitted and then for my round under boss my round under boss is 28 inches so i'm going to divide that by four place that on this half length line and then i'm going to mark that point and now i'm going to connect those points together now remember that this is my armhole line here which is the eight inch mark okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to measure my shoulder divided by two and i'm going to mark it here okay so now this will give me a guide so that i can just trim down my armhole a bit so that this part doesn't get into my armhole okay so this is still the five inch mark so i'm just going to go down by one inch to make that six inches okay then i'm just going to create a small armhole down here okay Now that's my front piece done i'm just going to go ahead and place this on my fabric again so i can cut my back piece now remember i'm adding my one inch allowance here for my zipper just one inch allowance is fine for my zipper and then i'm going to cut the the um fold open So this is my top piece. I'm gonna have to just cut it. So this is what it looks like. When I open this up, this is what this one looks like. And you see? And then this one, this is what it looks like. Okay, so these are our front piece and these are our back pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is, obviously we're going to join the back pieces together. Okay, we we'll join them together with about one inch seam allowance because that's the allowance we left when we are creating the allowance for the back so i'm just going to go ahead and join this now after sewing that we're going to open it up like this okay and then we're going to place it on our back piece like this and then we're going to go ahead and just join it together by the sides with about one inch seam allowance now i'm not putting any darts because this fabric is stretchy like i said okay can you see it's a very stretchy fabric so i'm not putting any darts but if the fabric you're using is not stretchy, please go ahead and put that on your front piece and on your back piece, okay? So after sewing the front piece, this is what we have, okay? 
I went ahead to join the back pieces to make it one piece and then I joined that back piece to the front piece along the side so this is what our front piece is looking like right now so for the skirt part of our dress it's a gypsy skirt or it's also called a tiered skirt so let me just create a sketch of what we are doing so this is what the top looks like okay so this is what it looks like okay so as you can see we have two layers okay so now to determine how wide this first layer is going to be because we're going to be joining this first layer to your top at the under boss area there you're going to multiply your round under boss by 1.5 so my round under boss is 28 inches so i'm going to, for this first layer okay the width is going to be 28 times 1.5 so that will give us 42 inches okay now because you're going to be joining this top part of the second layer to the bottom part of the first layer this 42 you got here you're going to multiply it again by the same 1.5 inches so for the width of this one is going to be 42 times 1.5 and that will give us 63 inches okay so the width of this one we're going to cut a very long um, piece of fabric that is 42 inches wide and then for the width of this one we're going to cut a very long piece of fabric that is 63 inches wide so remember that this width if you have more layers okay you can you can choose to have six layers seven layers four layers so depending on the number of layers you have all you have to do is just keep multiplying each layer by 1.5 1.5 so if we had a third layer it means we're going to multiply this 63 by 1.5 and so on and so on and so forth okay so for the full length of my dress, I want my dress to be 60 inches long. Now this top part has already taken out 15 inches, which is my half length. So I've already taken out 15 inches for the top part. So 60 minus 15 will give me 45 inches. So it means the skirt part of my dress is 45 inches long. Okay. So now I want to decide how many inches I want for this and how many inches I want for this. Okay. So the whole thing is 45, but I have to decide how many inches for each layer. So for the first layer, I want it to be 21 inches. So the first layer is going to be 21 inches. Okay, so for the length, we have 21. And then the length of the second layer, the length of the second layer is obviously going to be 45 minus 21. And that will give us 24 inches. So the second layer is going to be 24 inches long. Okay, so as you can see now, we've been able to calculate the length and the width of each layer of our gypsy skirt so this is the same way you're going to do it if you have more layers so no matter how many layers you have with this formula you can actually calculate um, the length and the width for each layer okay so this is my first layer now okay the width like i said is 42 inches and the length is 21 inches so now you can either decide to make your gypsy skirts you can either decide to gather your gypsy skirt or you can decide to pleat it. So if you're going to gather it, all you have to do is just run a straight loose stitch up here. And then obviously gather it until the width is the width of your waist or your round on the bust. Depending on where you're attaching this to. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead and pleat it, okay? So I'm just going to create little, little pleats all the way until the width is the... Um, until the width I have is the width of my round on that bust. So I'm going to have to create my pleats and I've also pinned them. So this, what I have here now is the width of my round on that bust. So I'm going to go ahead and sew a straight line at the top and then take out the pins. So after pleating and sewing the first layer, this is what we have, okay? So as you can see, the pleats are not that full because the second layer is going to be fuller than the first layer. Okay, so now this is the first layer. Now this is the second layer here, okay? So can you see how much fuller 
the second layer is now remember that the second layer is going to be joined to the bottom part of the first layer okay now i'm going to take the bottom part of my first layer and then i'm going to go ahead and just pin it to this top part of the second layer just going to go ahead and just sew along there to join both of them together so we have one piece so after joining the first and second layers together this is what we're going to have so can you see how the top part is the top part is full but not as full as the bottom layer okay so now so now we're going to go ahead and fold this okay fold this in half and then go ahead and join this but since i'm going to be adding my zipper at this top part here i'm going to leave about six inches so from this top here i'm going to mark six inches downwards that's where i'm going to start my sewing from so from this six inch mark i'm going to go ahead and sew all the way down to the hem so after joining in this is what we have so this is actually our center back now okay so this is what it looks like so this right here is the center back okay so can you see what it looks like so when it's on this to the right side so this is what the right side looks like so can you see our skirt already looks lovely so now i'm going to turn this now now as you can see this part where i'm going to attach my zipper is still open now i'm going to take my top okay this is also i'm also facing the back side of my top now i'm going to go ahead and loosen up this zipper allowance just a bit okay so that i can join it to the skirts so i'm going to go ahead now and just pin it around and then i'm going to go ahead and sew it around so this is what our gown is looking like right now can you see how lovely it looks and this is what the back looks like so now we're going to go ahead and trim out a bit of our armhole okay because as it is it's probably going to get this part is going to poke into our armhole so we're going to trim our armhole a bit so this right here is the center can you see because that's where our center back is here from this center we're going to mark five inches on this side and five inches on the other side as well okay so remember that we took out five inches from our shoulder now we're going to place that same five inches mark on the top part of our top there and then we're going to mark seven inches okay because that's how low our armhole is going to be seven inches and then on this side we're also going to mark seven inches as well i'm going to just draw a slanted line to connect those points and on this side as well so now we're going to go ahead and just trim our armhole so now i'm going to open up my zipper allowance a bit and then i'm going to go ahead and pipe so i'm going to start from this zipper allowance along this armhole along this neckline and then along this armhole and then back to this other zipper allowance here i'm going to do that with a bias tape okay so for the band for our sleeve okay i've gone ahead to just cut this okay it is 12 inches long remember that we took out five inches from our shoulder so five plus five is 10 inches and then i decided to add an extra two inches okay so this is 12 inches long okay and then the width is three and a half inches so we're going to go ahead and fold this now we're going to close one end so along this side and then leave the other end open so we can just turn it out okay we'll do the same thing for this side as well so i'm going to have to sew this end and i also sewed along this side i'm going to turn it to the right side so after turning this is what we have so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and join it to this part here and then join the other end to the back and our dress is all done this is what the back looks like i'm also going to open this party and then insert my zipper thanks for watching guys bye